Hi there, welcome to Anacortis uh, High School Chemistry 2020-2021, aka COVID land. Uh, I'm Casey Anderson, and with me I have my student teacher for the year. Maverick Silver. Okay, and we're going to be working with you this year for chemistry uh, here at Anacortis. Uh, on the front is my contact information and phone number. Uh, email works best. Please, 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 please email me if anything comes up. Uh, phone is iffy. I'm really bad about checking my voicemail, but I check my email uh, pretty regularly. Uh, so without any further ado, for that is the type of ado that I hate the most, let us proceed. Uh, so first off, uh, in case you don't know, chemistry is a two semester course. That means you'll have me all year long. Uh, generally, this is an elective course. And what that means is because it's not strictly a graduation requirement for everybody, there's a level of difficulty here and a level of maturity that I expect from my students. That would be you. Um, so kind of keep that in mind as we progress and if you decide if this is the, the place for you, which I hope it is. Um, one of the other pieces from this is chemistry, unlike some other classes you may have taken, relies upon a really strong building of information. So material from the first semester will absolutely be used during the second semester material from the first unit that we do will be used in the second and the third and the fourth so it's not a learn and forget kind of situation it all builds off of itself just want to let you know uh, textbooks so obviously we're in uh, covid land right now uh, so hopefully you've checked out your textbook at seahawk startup if you if you have not checked out a textbook you will want to do so um, you'll probably need to come in and schedule a conversation with Ms. John. Uh, make sure that that happens. You should have it checked out. Um, yes. Uh, that being said, I don't use it a lot, but we will be using it especially as a reference as things come out, and that's where things are going to get critical. Grading. So this is where things get messy this year. So you really want to pay attention. I'm going to talk a little bit slower with this just to make sure we're all in the same boat. So um, this year I'm going to be using what's called standard-based mastery system for grading. Standards means every uh, thing that we do will be tied to a specific idea, a specific standard. Um, chemistry doesn't really have state standards written for us, so these are standards that are generated by me, but they're still standards. Mastery means that your grade is purely based on kind of the extent of the chemistry you can demonstrate. There's no homework. There's no extra credit, and I'll reference that later as well. It's all based on how much chemistry you can demonstrate. Now, before you panic, and start breathing heavily and hyperventilating, because remember, heavy breathing is bad in COVID territory, is this is doable. At the start of each week, I'm going to provide you a short four question quiz. The questions will range from easy to hard, guaranteed. Some of the questions will be very easy, very straightforward, just definitions. And by the way, I can't stop you from using notes. So very easy stuff too, a bit more involved. And it's always going to be based on what was done the previous week. You will get a score of one to four on that, on each quiz. Your score on the quizzes is purely what determines your grade. But again, before you panic, deep breaths here, people, you can retake these quizzes as often as desired. So if you get a bad score because you didn't understand something the first week, or heck, you were sick and missed the work and didn't do well on the quiz, fear not, children, fear not. You can retake that with no penalty. And we'll talk more about that later. So here is the grading system. And it looks complicated, but what it really comes down to is your grade is based off of an average 
score of all of the uh, weekly quizzes based on the standards throughout the semester and what your lowest score is. So there's some interesting pieces, pieces to this I want to address. So for instance, notice here, this B plus, that's an average score of a three. An A minus has an average score of a three. The difference between them is what your lowest score is. So if your lowest score on a quiz is a two for the semester, you can get a B plus. Let's say you want that A minus. What do you do? You go back and you retake the quizzes you didn't do well on to get bring up one of those lower scores up to a three. And the reason we made an A, a 3.2, by the way, uh, out of four, again, notice this is out of four, you don't have to be perfect to get an A, is that roughly we're looking at every one in five quizzes, you get a four. Uh, also notice that there is no F in this scale. There are no Fs this year. That is a state mandate. No Fs. An N means you did not get credit for the class. Um, but it doesn't affect your GPA. A D um, is, um, and I want you to kind of note what that is. Getting a D means that you get at least one point on everything. That's it. Um, so hopefully that makes sense. If it doesn't, please contact me. I'm, um, I, I want this to be clear. Also, what I'm going to do is provide you and your parents a spreadsheet that I've made where you can input your grades, your scores into the spreadsheet and it will spit out whatever your grade is. So you can see that because one thing I want to make really clear, if you look at your grade in Skyward or Schoology this year, it's going to lie to you. For instance, if you have a three on every single quiz, three out of four, Skyward and Schoology will say you have a 75%, that's a C. In reality, that's actually an A minus. Attendance, uh, show up, please. Uh, so, I, I figure there should be more than that. Um, so the idea is we understand that life is difficult right now. And you may not be able to show up to your scheduled period due to a variety of reasons. Don't worry about it. If you miss your Zoom class, I will mark you absent. But if you complete the kind of work for that day, which will be on Schoology, and send me an email that you were did it, but if it, at least if it's before the end of the school day, I can remove that absence and you're okay. So just want to make that clear. You can always make, make up the work. Try to be there on time. It's better, but life happens and I understand that. Now, what if you are absent? Check Schoology, then check Schoology again. And then think to myself, did I check Schoology? And then Schoology. Um, seriously, Schoology is where I'm gonna be doing all of my communication with you all. Um, all of my lecture notes for the entire semester are gonna be in Schoology at the start. I'd say do it right now, but I haven't uploaded them as of this recording. But we'll pretend by the time you hear this, they'll have been uploaded. So there we go. By the time you see this, all of my semester notes for the entire semester are already on Schoology and my YouTube channel, which has, which is, well, well where you're at because you're watching this. And that has videos of my lectures, uh, which we're going to be using. So that's what you want to make up. Um, if you're gone with an excused absence, of course, it is your responsibility to study whatever material you missed. And this is where things get interesting. If you miss a weekly quiz, it will go in as a zero because you didn't take it. But as soon as you take it, then it gets whatever score you earned. There's no penalty for retaking quizzes. Um, if you do want to retake a quiz, um, please schedule time ASAP. Um, great times are before school, 
and during flexible time on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday, just email me to set up a time just to make sure that I'm actually available and not helping someone else during that time. Uh, participation, when we are in synchronous time in class, I will call on people. I expect you to give me a thoughtful answer. Doesn't have to be right, just a try. I wanna see signs of life. That's what I want, that's my goal. If you're wrong, I'm not gonna make fun of you. I'm not gonna mock you. I'm not gonna criticize you. But I want you to try. That's, that's the main step of success. Academic honesty, we've covered this in every class that you've had and every year that you've done it, but I still have to cover it. So what is cheating? Copying someone else's work. The big stuff, because with us, it's gonna be all about those quizzes. So if you take one of the quizzes or opportunities um, and you tell people what's on it, that's cheating. If people tell you what's on the quizzes because you haven't taken it yet, that's cheating. Looking at other students' work during an opportunity is cheating. You know this. This is not a surprise. Uh, notes. So a bit of a shift this year. Um, notes are gonna come in the form to help with your retests. So to retake one of the weekly quizzes or opportunities, you must show effort. Um, I just need to see that you've done something to prepare for it and not just plan on hope and luck. For the first retake that you do, notes will be that visible effort. So if you need a retest, you show me that you took notes, there's your retest. Beyond that, I need to, you need to tell me what you've done. Uh, notes can be done digitally or on paper, just take a photo, send it to me. Um, and notes have to include a minimum of definitions of key vocabulary and example problems. I do reserve the right to return your notes to you and go, this is not sufficient. And that would be frustrating if that happened. So how can you make sure that your notes are sufficient? Take good notes. And finally, extra help, or not finally, but extra help. If you're confused about anything, I will be happy to help you. Mr. Silver here will be happy to help you, right? Oh, yes. See, it's a, it's a verbal. The contract has been made. It's legal in several states, you know. That's right, including solid ones. Ha <laughs> ha, chemistry joke. Uh, anyway, um, if you have a question, asking me during our synchronous class time would be best. Asking during asynchronous class time would be second best. You could email me. You could ask me before school. Um, I'll try most days to have my Zoom link open. Um, I think from 8 to 8.30, I want to say, is our official time, as our before school time for help. That'd be a great time to meet up with me. Uh, if you need to meet earlier due to some reason, let me know, and I can open up Zoom. Uh, during flexible time, so Tuesdays, Fridays, and Wednesdays, we have a decent amount of flexible time. Schedule a time with me. And again, all of my notes, the lecture notes, the PowerPoints are available on Schoology as of this viewing of this video right now. And there's my YouTube channel. Uh, classroom guidelines, you have to abide by all the school rules and regulations. That's, that's what I care about. Yeah, don't bully people. Don't be an ass. Dress appropriately for school. Yeah. If you have your camera on. Yep. You you know what you know what this means. Uh, materials. So these are things that I would recommend having ready, both for your synchronous and asynchronous time. Is have some note taking thing ready. I know I said notes are only required for the retests. Take notes anyways, please. It's good. trust me on this. Um, I don't care if you use pen, pencil, digital notes, like if you want to use Google Docs, if you want to do notes in Word, if you're familiar with OneNote and you want to use that, those are all great tools. Um, you have lots of options. Have a calculator. Uh, if you have a fancy TI high number calculator, those are great. They are overkill. Um, it's, it's not necessary. What I would recommend for a solid calculator for chemistry, because frankly, computer calculators aren't great. And cell phone calculators are bad. I'm gonna repeat that. Cell phone calculators, for the most part, are bad. 
do not use your cell phone as a calculator in chemistry. You will regret it. Invest in a cheap uh, calculator. Like I recommend the TI-30X2S. They're like $13. I have a link on the physical, I have air quotes around physical uh, syllabus. You can get them from almost any store. They're great. If, if you can't afford one, contact me. I have a bag full of them. I can check one out to you. And your Chromebook, of course. And finally, extra credit. Here's the finally. There is none because your grade is entirely mastery based. There's no extra credit. If your grade is not where you want, you can think to yourself, self, what could I do to raise my grade? And what would my answer to that be, self? Retake the test. See, it's an easy answer. And again, you can retake those tests as long as the semester is going. So if it's first semester work and you get it done by the end of the semester, no penalty, none, none at all. You have no excuses. Anyway, that's it. Really looking forward to working with you all this year. It's going to be a challenge, but it's going to be fun as well. Just think, pajamas, daily pajamas. For you guys, at least. I'm actually showing up to work in the building, so I'll be pajama-free, which is a great sadness. Anyway, looking forward to working with you. Bye.